Are you feeling stuck with customizing the look of your blog and events and products on your Squarespace website? Hoping to make it easier for your website visitors to find what they're looking for on your website and maybe also showcase related posts and products? Or maybe you're looking to add a little bit of SEO juice to your website. All of those things can be achieved with the amazing feature inside of Squarespace, the tags and categories. Now, I actually created my first ever YouTube video on this topic, and without a doubt, it was one of the most awkward videos I have ever watched back. But with 30,000 views on it, it seems like y'all are clearly interested in this topic. So I'm happy today to bring you the new and improved version of that video. Watch this video all the way until the end as I share all the amazing hacks and secrets that you can unlock and achieve with Squarespace when you understand this small but mighty feature of tags and categories. Let me start this off by explaining what tags and categories are. So tags and categories are most commonly applied to blog posts and products, and they're basically a fantastic tool for organizing all of the content on your website. Let me give you an example of when you would use each a tag and a category. So let's say that you're a fashion company and you sell clothing. Your categories would likely be things like tops, bottoms, accessories, dresses, and shoes. Your tags then would be more specific. For example, tags for dresses would make sense if they were broken down into things like A-line dresses or mini, midi, and maxi dresses. If you were a food blogger, for example, though, then your categories would likely be things like breakfast recipes, lunch recipes, dinner recipes, maybe appetizer recipes or drink or cocktail recipes as well. And then your tags on your food blog would be a bit more specific. So that could be things like ingredients in that meal, or it could be maybe like a specific type of diet that this meal is friendly for. So your tags might be items such as vegan friendly, keto friendly, gluten free, etc. Or alternatively, your tags could also be things like for Christmas or Easter or 4th of July parties. You could basically separate and organize your recipes by the holiday that they relate to. So why exactly is this useful? Well, if someone comes to your website and they're looking for a dinner recipe because they're hosting people next week, then instead of having to scroll through your giant long list of every single recipe on your website, they could just go to the dinner recipes because they know that's exactly what they need. Basically, it saves your visitor a lot of time scrolling through things on your website that they're not interested in. Same thing goes for your clothing shop. Instead of someone having to look through all of the clothes on your website, people can just look for dresses or even better, dresses that have been tagged as being perfect for being maybe a guest at a wedding. Now, let me show you inside of Squarespace tags and categories in action, and it'll also show you how to create custom layouts and use them when you want to read design the look and layout of your website. Okay, let's start off by talking about how to add tags or categories to something on your website. I'm going to show you here in the example of a blog. So I'm going to open up my blog page and open up one of my posts, head into the settings of the post, and then I'll head into options. And here's where we see the options for tags and categories. So let's say categories, this website, which I'm doing this on is a mock website for a financial advising company. So I'm going to make my category retirement saving. So I just type in the name of the category, which I want, and I click enter and I can take it on for this post in the future. You will see like, as you have more categories created, you'll just see the list of categories here. And you can, again, just tick for which ones you want to apply to this specific post. And that would be the same thing for tags. Here. So for example, 401ks, I'll just click that. And then that is on. So I'm going to click save here. Now say with time you realize that you actually have too many tags or too many categories and you want to mass merge or delete them. Then this is how you would do that. You would head into the settings and then head into advanced and then manage tags, for example. And so I could select these. If I select multiple, then I can decide to merge the two and then it'll ask me what name I want for this. So for example, there, merge. Now that would update it on every blog post or every product, for example, or you can also use tags and categories on calendars and events and that sort of thing. So wherever it is, it would mass merge those tags and categories into whatever it is you wanted. So again, you can click on this, you can choose to edit it, maybe you change the name of it, maybe you choose to delete that specific tag or category. So that can also be done, which is a really nice thing to be able to do. Okay, so let's say there's a certain page of your website and you want to pull a few posts or a few events or a few products onto that page. Maybe you want to display them, I don't know, a few posts posts on retirement on your services page, or maybe if you have a shop on the homepage, you want to feature your best summer dresses, for example, this is how you would go about doing that. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to tag the, or categorize the item which you want to appear. So say again, you would head, as I showed you, you go into maybe like the blog, you add the relevant tag or category to those blog posts. You could again do the same thing for a shop, same thing for the events page, those sorts of things. So then once your items have been tagged or categorized, then you want to come on to the page which you want this new thing to appear. So let's say here on my services page, I want to pull in a few popular posts related to retirement planning. So I'm going to add what is called a summary block, add block, and I'll just search summary. 
and it pops in here. You'll drag it into place there and I'll click on the edit button and then we need to choose where the content is coming from here. So I'm gonna select page and the content is coming from my blog page. Alternatively, again, if you were trying to showcase like your products or whatever, you click on your shop or product page. So here I am. And automatically what it's going to do is it's going to pull in the most recent posts. Now, granted, maybe you don't want the most recent posts. Maybe again, you just want all the posts related to retirement. So we will come to filter items and then we can select maybe we want all the posts in retirement savings or alternatively if you want to say all these certain tags none there okay so that is how we would do it so we would just come in here and then select whichever content to appear here and then with the summary block you do also have some other options like do you want other bits and pieces of information do you want the excerpt do you want the title on there whatever that is you can change all those bits and pieces you can also change the layout of this so say if you wanted it to be a carousel or a list or a grid. You could make those choices as well. And again, play around with these settings here to get the different bits and pieces to appear, which you would like. So I'm gonna turn off the excerpt. I'm gonna turn on the read more link. I don't know, let's set that off. So then maybe you would, for example, put a title about this and say like our most popular retirement planning posts or something. And so that is again, how you get specific information or specific products or specific events to pull onto a different area of your website that you choose. Now, one thing important to know is that if you come in here and you are looking to filter items and you're looking to filter it by something and you're not finding that option in the list, it could be that say you've created, for example, the blog post, but you haven't published the blog post yet. So only once a piece of content exists and is published on your Squarespace website, will the tag or category appear in the summary block list for you to pull from. So again, if I come in here to the blog, if I create a new post, that's about and we're gonna save and go to my settings, options, tags, it's fire. Just hitting the enter button to make it actually turn into a tag. So I'm gonna save that. And if I head into my summary block, click edit, filter items, tags, you'll notice that that option which I just created, fire, doesn't exist yet. And the reason for that is because that post is not yet published. So if I go back to the blog and I will go publish, then when it's published, it will now appear as an option. There we are. So there you have it. And again, you can, as you can see there, you can have multiple tags or categories pulling into the summary block, not just one. Now, the issue which you might notice and run into with the summary block is that you can only pull a maximum of 30 items. So if you scroll here, you can see that it starts at one, goes up to 30. What happens if, for example, you want to showcase more than 30 items? Well, then I have a little hack for you. I decided to completely redesign my blog page and I wanted it to be organized by the year. So it was like, whatever the year, 2023, 2024, for example. And I wanted all the blog posts to appear. Now I had more than 30 blog posts in that one specific year. And so I was trying to figure out how do I get them all to appear if I can only have 30 of them pulled in the summary block with the tag or category. So what I ended up doing was I created what I called batch categories. So I, for the first 30 blog posts, so blog post one to blog post 30, I categorized it as batch one. And then for blog post 31 to 60, I categorized that as batch two and continuous. And so basically what I would do is I would come in here and then I would in my content filter items, I would say select the category. And again, the category would have been like batch one. And so when I select that, then all of those 30 posts appear. And then I would just create another summary block below that summary block. So add block, another summary. I would just add that one below the previous one. And then I would tell it to pull in all of the posts related to batch two, for example. So that is how I got around the 30 limit. So just make sure if you want to do something similar, you know that you're gonna wanna pull everything, then go ahead and again, tag or categorize your stuff as batch one, batch two, batch three, and then just use multiple summary blocks to pull the items from those different batches. Okay, so now you understand tags and categories, you're definitely a lot better off than most, but you might still run into a few other challenges with building and designing and customizing your website, which is why you should definitely watch this video next. It is a crash course all about Squarespace. Mm -hmm.